to another episode of Facts on Court with TJ. So you know, I've been thinking about how I'm going to like define this episode. But do you want me to be very honest? I don't have a specific topic for it. But I can actually put two words together to explain what I'm trying to say. And these two words are disruptive creativity. I don't it's not supposed to make sense to you, but that's how I feel. Disruptive creativity. So what do i you know why those two words why that (laughs) let me explain so disruptive creativity for me is creativity that knows no boundaries that knows no limitations that knows no no exceptions you understand and you know when i think about disruptive creativity i think about people that creative that create and they don't think about the challenges they are going to face when they want to create they just want to just do it but you know the sad the sad truth is there are very few people that actually execute whatever comes to their head and that's a problem that's a big problem so like i always say the world belongs to those who are daring you have to dare you cannot you can't break boundaries, you cannot break away from the norm if you are not daring. Every problem behind every creative idea is execution. But if you are scared of execution every time, you will do nothing. Mark my words, you will do nothing because every time you are thinking of doing something, you are always saying, ah, these people, will, this thing will happen. Why are you always thinking of the problem? What is your, what is your problem? <laughs> Why are you always thinking of the challenges? Why can't you just go out and plan to the best of your ability, then try to execute? See, let me tell you something you don't know. You can never be too prepared. Yes, you can never say that, oh, I have everything in check. This is going to go this way. Shit will definitely go south, north, east, west. Someone said I should stop saying south because it looks like I'm tribal. So I'll start saying south, north, east, west. Things will actually go that way, different ways. You understand? But that should not that should not be a reason for you not to go out and get that thing done. That should not be a reason for you not to start that idea, to execute that idea. Execution is always the biggest problem. But it is not a problem if you try. The world belongs to those that try. Do not let the fear of poor execution limit you from creating what exactly goes on in your head. Do not let the fear of poor execution stop you from executing those things, those crazy, innovative things that are coming to your head. Please, make conscious effort to try to execute those ideas. You know what's going to happen. You will not die when you try to execute. Nothing will go wrong. You will just learn how to be better at it. But you cannot learn how to be better at it if you don't try. Please try. So my case study, my case study is just one person. And like I always say on this show, it's my personal opinion, you know, if you don't agree, you know, you can go and start your own online series. <laughs> it's my personal opinion. So my case study today is T.J. Omori. T.J. Omori, renowned video music director. I would not say music video director. I would say renowned cinematographer because T.J. Omori does not shoot music videos like music videos. T.J. Omori shoots movies. Yes, because strong storyline, structure, nice plot, you know, perfect pictures. You know, everything is always just on point, you get. But if you have noticed, the reason why T.J. Omori is standing out from other music video directors is just because, just because, one reason, because he executes his ideas. Yes, because T.J. will not think of something and not try to execute it. That's the problem with you guys. T.J. will go at it. And you guys will say, hmm, is this Lagos? Hmm, is this Ibadan? No, 
What do you think it was? And I know that so many of you have all these ideas in your head, but you're just scared. TG will execute. What are you doing with those ideas? What are you doing with those ideas? You just they sleep, just they wake up, just they think, ah, and it will make sense if you try this thing, no? And you will just die like that when you think, say, ah, I, I know things have you run this thing. No, execute your ideas today. The world belongs to those that don't only think it. The world belongs to those that do it. Sorry, sorry. So yeah, <laughs> that's the message. Execute your ideas. And that's the perfect definition of disruptive creativity. Disruptive creativity is daring. Disruptive creativity looks unachievable, but when executed, it is disruptive. So yeah, you guys should add it to the dictionary or whatever vocabulary. <laughs> and don't forget to give me credit. And that's it on Facts and Copy TJ. Thank you for tuning in. 